There are people in our community who need help. They didn't ask to be visually impaired or hearing impaired or to suffer from a mental illness or from a disability. But the government's treatment of them is nothing short than punitive. To take away community resources of this nature is a breach of that social contract. And for what? The cost is maybe 0.001% of the total budget. Is this the austerity program that's going to bring Nova Scotia back to a balanced budget? I don't think so. The Liberal government is only a year and a half in and is telling us clearly they don't care about the arts, they don't care about young people, they don't care about Nova Scotian workers, they don't care about the poor, the marginalized, and the disabled. Maybe Premier McNeil's true name is Stephen Harper McNeil. Because what we're seeing is clearly a conservative agenda. You know, when I initially read the Ivany report, I felt that I would uh, like jump into a dragon boat in, a, in Lake Banook with a bottle of Captain Morgan and row away. <laughs> the report was kind of depressing. It stated we're losing our young people and our economy is at risk and the report seems to suggest that the increase in our senior population is a negative thing. But let's examine that. Our seniors offer a wealth of experience, whatever, their former job. They volunteer in their communities, their income stay in their communities, they, 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 they assist in uh, helping immigrants, the list is endless. I am optimistic about the contribution our seniors can make and when we have a government committed to serving the people, we will also be able to keep our young people here. Our young filmmakers, our students seeking affordable education, our young entrepreneurs, our young civil servants, these people like us want to live in a healthy, environmentally sustainable, compassionate community. Dartmouth South can lead the way. And I want to be part of building that community. And that is why I'm asking for your support tonight. It will take commitment and courage but I am filled with optimism because I am not faint of heart and nor do I think are you. Thank you very much.